Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Theron and I'm a part-time eBay reseller. Um, I do this basically on a hobby level and every week uh, I shoot one of these recap videos and so that's what this is. Um, it was kind of a quiet week for me. Uh, I didn't get as much listing done this week as I would like to have um, due to a lot of other things going on. Uh, so I'm going to try and get a little more focused on that. But anyway, this is just a recap of how my week went. I had some interesting things happen. Some things kind of came up that I didn't know were going to happen as the week began. Um, so I have a, looks like I'm probably getting into book selling now. Um, so that'll be a new thing for me that I've not dealt with yet. Um, just like everything else, I like to learn as I go. And um, I hope you re enjoy this recap. Hey guys, so it's um, Tuesday afternoon. I just got home from work. And uh, it's kind of slow a couple of days, but I'll just run through real quickly what I've been doing. Um, I listed yesterday, I listed all three of these pairs of shoes. This is a Doc Martens and a Timberland and a Lacrosse. I was going to do this on Sunday, but my day got cut kind of short, so I did it yesterday. Um, today I'm going to be putting these five items up. I have two pairs of silver jeans um, that I paid $1.50 each for, so I'm going to put those up today. And then I'm going to get this plush listed. I've got Marge Cookie Monster. And uh, this Cookie Monster actually <laughs> talks, so that's cool, and Tweety Bird. So I'm going to play around with a little bit of plush. Um, I see other eBayers doing this and um, see if I can have any luck with it. So those are going to be my listings for yesterday and today. Um, honestly, sales have been incredibly slow, so I only have one item going out today, and it sold yesterday. This is from Gap, and it's a blazer that I found at a yard sale for like 2 bucks, And I got $20 out of that. So I'll be shipping that out tonight. So that's just kind of a quick recap on my last um, couple of days. Hey guys, so it's Thursday. I had a pretty short do-nothing day yesterday because I got home from work, and then we went to the county fair. So we took the kids to the fair, we went on some rides, went and saw the demolition derby, looked at all the animals. And by the time we got home, it was pretty late. So I didn't get any listing done or do anything with my eBay store. So it's now Thursday, and um, I've got two orders going out today. So I'll show you what those are. They're a couple of shirts, and um, this first one is by Talbots. It's just a nice little plaid, a little bit of embroidery on it. I picked it up, I think, at the Goodwill bin, so I probably only have about 25 or 30 cents into it. And I believe I got 12 or 13 out of it. And the other one that I'm selling today... This is by Bertigo. I don't know if you can see that tag. And I can tell this is a really good quality shirt. It's got double stitching everywhere. It's doubled up on the buttons. Um, it's got leather cuffs here. Got leather cuff links. This is a really nice shirt. It's in almost new condition. So I picked it up for 2 or $3 at a thrift store, and I'm getting 20 out of it. I took a best offer on it. And... Uh, I picked both of these items up a little bit earlier this year. Um, the rest of my uh, day today down here, um, I have the rest of my hard goods from what I picked up last weekend. I want to get all of this listed. So it's a Garmin Forerunner, this Clarity Phone, this flask, and then this stack of, I'm going to bundle these as a lot. This is the Sims Deluxe Edition with a pile of expansions, and I'll just lot all that up as one listing. Um, okay, also tonight... Uh, I'll be going over to, uh, it's not really an estate sale, but it's, I'm getting basically an exclusive run through of a house tonight and, um, trying to, I'm going to be trying to work out a deal with the owner who is getting rid of a bunch of stuff without actually having to do an estate sale. So, uh, I'll let you know a little bit more about that probably to, on tomorrow's, um, clip. And, uh, that's my day today. All right. So it's still Thursday night. Um, this is why I own a minivan, because if I just had a little car, I would never be able to pull off this much cargo. Um, just came from that house that I was talking about a little earlier in the video. And, uh, what I got here is basically a van full of books, and these are old books. So I'm going to be going through, and the deal I made, uh, got these from a, a friend of ours, is whose house we're kind of helping her out with. So the deal is, it's going to be kind of a consignment sale. I told her that I would take the time and go through all of this and cherry pick it out. And then uh, <clears throat> we would work up a deal from there. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that for her because she knows that there's books in there that are worth money. And uh, I said I would go ahead and cherry pick them out and uh, let her keep whatever she wants to keep. And then 
uh, make a deal on the rest of it. So now I gotta find a spot in my garage for all of this. Okay, so it's Friday. Um, I've only worked a half day at work today. Um, so I'm home at lunchtime. Um, a couple more sales popped for me this morning. So I'm gonna run to the post office after I package these up, but I just wanted to real quickly show you the other two sales that I got this morning and then um, it's gonna be off to the bank and then I think I'm gonna go find some yard sales. Okay, so the two items that I have going out today, uh, this first one is a shirt. This is a Dockers. Um, I paid a dollar for this at a church um, yard sale last winter, I think last November. And this was a part of a bulk buy. I bought 40 shirts, various different department store brands, Dockers, Van Hoosen, things like that. But they were $1 a shirt, so I bought 40 of them. And it's been a good return on the investment. I've sold through probably about 30 of them. I think I probably got about 10 left in the store. I mean, it's been a slow return, but the return's been good. For a dollar a shirt, I've been getting $9 back out of them after fees and stuff. I'm making 3 to $4 a shirt. So that's a decent return over a long period of time. And I would make a buy like that again if I had a nice big bulk opportunity. I would do that again. That's worked out well for me. The other thing I have going out is this Garmin Forerunner that I bought last weekend. And I listed it last night. And it sold this morning. I paid $5 for it at a yard sale. And I got $20 plus shipping for it today. So those are the two things I'm sending out. Um, yeah. Alright, so it's still Friday. Um, I was going to go yard sailing, but the weather isn't cooperating. It got kind of rainy outside. So instead, I'm in the garage, and I've started to go through all these uh, books that I hauled home last night. Um, and you can see the pile here. This was all in the van, plus what little bit was I got here. Um, so I've already managed to find a complete set of world book encyclopedias, plus the two accompanying dictionaries that go with it. And that complete set is worth about $150. Uh, but that's how the rest of my afternoon is going to be, I think. I'm just going to be piling through these boxes of books. Looking for a few gems. So, all right. All right, so it's Saturday, uh, just before lunchtime. I've been out for about four hours yard sailing. Um, I got to be honest, I had an, an incredibly slow day yard sailing. I couldn't find anything today. Um, in the year or so that I've been doing this, this is honestly the worst Saturday yard sailing I've ever had. I will show you what I did find. I spent about $30, and typically um, on a Friday and Saturday, I'll spend over 100 usually. And I, yesterday I got rained out, and today I spent 30 bucks. I really couldn't even find anything bread and butter. It was, it was just weird, really weird. But I'll show you what I got. So I'm $30 all in on everything you see here, and I'll run through it real quick. Um, I stopped at probably 15 yard sales today, and like I said, there was just, it was either nothing there that was worth picking up, or there were some, I did find some interesting things, but people had them priced way too high and were unwilling to negotiate, and that's unfortunate, you just have to walk away. So, uh, but this is what I did pick up today. Um, I've got this Adidas sweatshirt hoodie, it was $1.00. I've got Harley Davidson, another sweatshirt, uh, youth size. This is also a dollar, and it's actually got a really cool back. I found these Coleman hikers. They're used, but in really, really, really good condition. Like, you can't hardly tell, and they were two bucks. Um, I've got this thermos. It was $1.50. This is one of those nice old ones that they don't make anymore. So I'm sure somebody will scoop that up. I found a video game for Super Nintendo, or for Nintendo 64 for a dollar. Comps around 12 to 13. Um, I have a Sony Discman that I bought for two dollars. I'll have to test it, but if it works, I should get decent return on that. Um, okay, this Budweiser ship is not for resale. I just bought it for personal. It's going to go in my bar. It was just weird enough that I had to pick it up, so um, that is for me. Um, underneath that, though, is this Budweiser. Um, I kind of did this blind. I didn't have my phone with me when I bought it, so I paid $5 for it, and I'm hoping I did okay on this. It's in super good condition. This is obviously a promotional thing. Um, inside of it is a, well, come on, open, is a uh, 
fork, base tater, and spatula, and also some sauce. So I'm gonna have to date that. I don't know how old this actually is, but um, I'll sell it as a complete set anyway. Let the new owner do what they want with the sauce. Um, this here is a skeet throwing, ha uh, handheld skeet thrower. I found this for, I think I paid $3. And again, this was kind of a blind sale too because I forgot to take my phone. So I talked him down from five to three on this. And then underneath this uh, is brand new with tags Nike. And I paid $10 for this. So I know that I'll get a really good return on this because it's brand new with the tags. And that's everything I bought today. Like I said, really, uh, really a, a bizarre day. I usually spend close to $100 and I usually come home with three to four times as much stuff. So very strange day yard sailing, but I found what I could. So I'm going to finish my Saturday by going through the rest of those books that are out of my garage. I got about halfway through them yesterday. It took me about two hours. Um, I did find some really uh, cool and interesting things, and there's definitely some money in there. So I'm going to finish that project up this afternoon. And I've kind of set aside what's worth some decent money, what's still worth keeping, and what's really just garbage and should be donated or thrown away. So I'll finish that this afternoon. And then uh, I will get a hold of the lady that owns them and uh, we'll try and work something out. So it's uh, Sunday morning, uh, about 9 o'clock, little after, actually 9.30ish. Uh, I slept in a little bit this morning. I don't normally do that on the weekends, but last night I was a little extra tired, so I just took an extra hour of sleep. Anyway, um, back down in the basement. Uh, my plan this morning is to list the hard goods that I picked up yesterday. Um, there aren't a lot of them, but I want to get them all listed up and get that done because I've got other things I need to be taken care of too. So what I've got are the five things I picked up yesterday. Um, I have not yet tested the disc man, so i got to do that this morning. Uh, but uh, when I, then when I get all done with that, uh, I need to finish that book project. I didn't get to it yesterday afternoon uh, like I thought I was going to. I had some other things come up that I had to take care of. So uh, my plan this morning is to, or this afternoon, is to finish that up. Um, yeah, I have found some good stuff in there. I'm hoping to find some more good stuff. And when I get through that, uh, I'll show you what I sorted out and what I'm planning to try and purchase and, and uh, just kind of show you how that turned out and what's in there. So if anybody's curious about the disc, man, it does not work. I put a disc in and it would not read it, wouldn't play it, wouldn't do anything. Uh, won't even power up. Tried cleaning the lens a little bit. Nothing happened. Uh, you know what? It was two bucks. Bye bye. All right, so it's a little bit later on Sunday, and I'm done sorting all the books. So I just wanted to show you really quickly what uh, I've got going on here and what I'm uh, planning to do with it. So uh, this first pile here, uh, there's two boxes here of just rejects. That's all stuff that's going to get donated or thrown away. Uh, it's not worth dealing with. And then over here, whoop, pardon me as I trip over my dog, um, I've got about four boxes here. These are books that are worth doing something with. They're worth about, oh, four to five dollars a piece. So what I'm going to do, instead of trying to piecemeal them all, is I'm going to lump them up according to... Um, topic subject matter some of them are novels some of them are like engineering manuals and textbooks some of them are psychology stuff like that so what i'm going to do is lump them up lot them up into lots and sell them that way and what i think is they would make really good uh more interior decorations things uh, that that kind of a thing uh for somebody's office something like that if they wanted to have some conversation pieces on a, a bookshelf in their office that was pertaining to their profession or their interest so that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to try and do with that. Um, and then uh, we'll go downstairs and I'll show you where, the, where I think the money is at. All right, so we're back down in the basement. Um, starting with this bin, these are books that are worth dealing with one at a time. Each one of these, in my opinion, or in my estimation, is worth $15 or more a piece. So I will piecemeal those out one at a time. That's my plan. And then here are collections. These are encyclopedias, encyclopedias. Those are, that stat, brown stack in the middle is Britannia Book of the Year. 
Those are 20 bucks a piece, roughly, based on my research. This I have not priced yet, but it is a complete collection of Author's Digest. Um, so I will do my research and see what I can get for a complete set. Um, these books here, again, two to three bucks a piece, uh, but it's a whole collection by the same author. This is uh, Richard Harding Davis, and these are old, old books, but there's a whole collection. So I'm going to just sell them as one whole collection. Same with these. These are only worth a couple of bucks a piece, but there's a whole set of these. So I'm going to just sell them as a complete set. Um, and that's kind of where I think the money's at. Oh, and then down here in the middle, these were probably the most expensive find of the day. And uh, this is the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry, both volumes. Um, as a complete set, the comps I saw on eBay were going from 130 to 150 ish for a complete set. So I'm going to talk with my lady, see if I can't work up a deal. I told her um, that I would let her come through and if there's anything in here that she wants to keep, because she hadn't really had time to do that herself, that I would let her do that. And then I would make her an offer on what was still sitting here. Now, she's not looking to cherry pick money out of it from me. What she's looking for in particular are just some uh, stuff that she has sentimental value to. So, um, yeah, we'll see what she does with it, and then we'll go from there. And then there's this. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Um, I'm not, I wasn't sure what it is at first, and I'm still not sure that I know what it is, but I have a pretty good idea. This is leather bound, and it is really old. Like, I almost don't like touching it, but since the cover's already detached, I'll take the cover off. You can see it's had some water damage over the years. Um, but it's got a print date of 1854. The whole thing's in German, and um, I believe it's a Bible of some kind, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I'm guessing that this probably came over on a boat uh, when some family immigrated or something like that. I think this is probably a piece of her family history. I am not even going to make an offer on this. I think that in this condition, I could probably get 50 bucks for it on eBay. But uh, in my opinion, I think the right thing to do is to just give this back to her and have her keep it. I think this is probably a piece of her family history. Even if she doesn't know anything about it, maybe her mom would know or something like that. But it is definitely the coolest thing that was just laying in those boxes. It was down at the bottom of one underneath everything else. Um, and so yeah, I, I think it's probably the coolest find but not one that I am willing to take from her. Um, unless she flat out says, look, I don't want it, then I'll make her a small offer on it. But yeah, I just wanted to share this one with you too. All right, so it's the tail end of the day on Sunday. Um, I'm just gonna pack it up my weekend sales, so I'll run through them real quick here. Um, this is a Banana Republic knit sweater. I think I got 20 or 25 for that. And I'm only probably two or three into it. At a th uh, this is a thrift store buy. Um, the rest of this is yard sale bread and butter stuff. Abercrombie and Fitch tank top. This is a Hawaiian shirt uh, that I found. I think I got about 20 out of it. This I think I got 12 for. Okay, this is that foreigner tour shirt that I picked up last weekend. And I got 12 out of that on a dollar pickup. And this is... Um, I forget the brand, but this is a nice upscale plaid. I think I got $15 for it. And then the last thing I want to talk about is this Dance Dance Revolution mat. Um, I would not pick something like this up by itself. It was part of a larger bundle, and I already made all my money out of that bundle, so this is just a quick uh, $5 sale. That's all I'm getting out of it is $5. Bucks. Um, not something I would mess with individually, but as part of a large lot, sure. So that's what's going out tonight. All right, so that's going to end my week, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on next week's.